A Columbus County, North Carolina sheriff after being caught spewing racist insults, petitioned by the district attorney to be fired and then finally resigning, has been reelected to office. Jody Green, with all precincts reporting, has won the race for Columbus County Sheriff. Green received 10,034 votes, 54.26% to Jason Solis's 8,458 votes, 45.74% in the unofficial results. Look at that guy. That is an intense looking dude, not surprised by his beliefs, not to judge a book by its cover, but sometimes you can a little. Here's some background on Green. Green's troubles began in September after a subordinate recorded him on a phone call making racist remarks against a recently terminated sergeant and the former sheriff he defeated in the 2020 election, both of whom are black and who were involved in a legal challenge to the election results that temporarily sidelined him from his duties. Quote, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these black bastards, said Green. I'm going to clean house and be done with it. And we'll start from there. Uh... Unbelievable people's in people's just racism. You can be angry at somebody. Why did black have to be inserted there? Can't somebody be a bastard and not have to denigrate their whole race of people? Are there not white bastards in that person's eyes? Are there not people that do things you disagree with? Why does it have to be lumped in with somebody's skin color? It's so juvenile and insane and bigoted and disgusting. Here's a portion of that audio recording for those who need a direct reminder. Day. I'm still the mother of the sheriff, and when I, I was up there fired my guy, f it black. That's like, I'm scared of that stupid. Mm. I, I don't know what else to do with it. So I said, it's just time to clean them out. There's a snitch in there somewhere telling what we're doing, and I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have it. So I'm going to go there and pull phone records and start checking. I ain't putting trackers on people, but the phone records are still the deal. Yep. Hmm. So just give them a hit the hell's cup, and I promise. That's the law. It's moments like that you almost wish you were defended by a Herschel Walker type with a fake badge instead. Uh, pretty insane. Jason Solis, his political opponent in the sheriff's race, was the one that exposed the racist call. And the Solis Green beef runs deeper than just that phone recording. When Green took office, his victory was disputed in a lawsuit by his then opponent, Lewis Hatcher. In the meantime, Solis filled the seat but resigned after Green's claim to the throne was solidified. However, Green ended up arresting Sol's stepfather in 2020 after he made a snarky comment telling him to grow up, per the report. The next year, Solis was gunning for the sheriff's seat. There were other allegations of misconduct committed by Green. From there, further allegations surfaced that Green had engaged in intimidation and abuse of authority by arresting residents who insulted him and even threatening to arrest county commissioners for no valid reason. He was also accused of carrying on a sexual relationship with one of his detectives while they were on duty, at one point causing damage to county property. With the sexual relationship? I need to find out more about that. I don't know how a sexual relationship causes damage to property, but that's some intense sexual relations and inappropriate ones at that, good Lord. Well, reelected, racists reelected. So a red wave was staved off, but we still have a bunch of despicable people rising to positions of power in this country and it's gotta be stopped. I don't know how we do it except just vigilance and calling them out and putting their faces on camera and exposing them like we are right now on Indisputable. Uh, Yasmin, your thoughts on this insanity? Yeah, I liked what you said earlier, um, and I think you're right that racism is juvenile. And personally, I've always seen it as a lack of intelligence or a lack of critical thinking on someone's part. I don't think it's very intelligent to to harbor racist feelings, but that's one thing. And you know, but the other thing is that a man like this should not be even considered a viable candidate for public office for a sheriff position. 
but there's no accountability. We know about the things he said. We know about how he feels about certain things. We know about the way that he acts behind the scenes when he thinks no one's watching or listening. But there aren't real consequences for actions or words if somebody like this can just become reelected, right? Someone like this sheriff should not have earned so much support from voters in his area. And it's like what we were talking about earlier. This is a betrayal by everyone who voted for him to their neighbors. They, they betrayed their neighbors. That's what this is.